Hi, welcome back to uh, part nine of making a crook in plywood. So if you remember we'd done a lot of work on the, the head, uh, we've still got a lot of uh, sanding and filing to do. Um, but what we're going to do now is create a dog and with that dog we're going to uh, measure the size of um, the notch we want here. So the first thing we're going to need really is a little pattern. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's just a little bit of uh, plastic and that's my little pattern for doing um, border collies on noses. That's transferred to a piece of buffalo horn um, and what we're going to do now is bandsaw that out. Thickness, don't worry about that, you can have whatever thickness you want, that'll probably be filed down a wee bit, but you want to start with plenty of material to give yourself a, a chance. So let me bandsaw that out and we'll be right back. Right, okay, we've uh, bandsawed the, the dog out. We're now going to take out a bit of waste underneath its body and the best way that's done is with a drill and uh, a fret saw. So right back. Right so we've taken out a wee bit of material from underneath the body and we're going to have to do a, a lot of uh, carving now. Now not something I'm going to be able to teach you this, uh, I can show you what I do and it's something that um, you really need to do yourself and practice and to start with your dogs won't be very good and as you uh, progress you'll get better and better and better and you'll just find that you do um, your own natural shaped dog. Um, I always do mine exactly the same and I've learned what sort of cuts I want to do and uh, I generally use the, the Fordham right the way through the whole process. So there we are, you could uh, cut that out with a fret saw if you don't have a band saw, just drill underneath the body, use your fret saw again, cut out that waste and um, we'll um, start doing the carving now. okay I've just marked out uh, where I'm going to start cutting I use a Fordham um, find it very very useful uh, a Dremel will do exactly the same thing change over to a different bit now. A lot of my bits are broken for it, so I need to buy new. Uh, as this uh, swings about it just tends to catch things and um, you do break uh, your, your bits. I'm just taking material off the head now to change that squareness into 
a more pointy feature. Well, these are all basic cuts at the moment, we'll do a, a lot of uh, tidying up so you can see where we've just started to shape the front. What we're going to do now is take material off, uh, off the shoulder area there. So you can see again what we've done now is we're working a little bit on the body we're starting to uh, take material off um, I always taper this area here um, as it comes off the, the front legs so that's narrower and then gets gradually uh, wider towards the back and then as you get on to um, this back end here, you want that fairly wide. I'll just take a wee bit of material off the uh, tail. So the bit we were using there, which is very very good for shaving um, lots of material off, you can see is this sort of uh, faceted, um, what would you call it, not exactly um, uh, a, a pear shape but uh, you get the idea. Unfortunately it's a bit short because as I say I have dropped it and I've broken the, uh, the shank on it. The one we're going to now is um, just a nice square end.
we've just shaped the, uh, the tail a wee bit. What we want to do now is, uh, while we've got this square um, bit on, is just put a couple of lines in down the bottom there, and that's like the tails up there, the back legs are up there. It's just a wee bit of a division. So you can see hopefully what I mean by that. Now while we've got this on as well, it's, uh, we're going to take material off the base and sort of... Um, right, we've done a lot of tidying up there and we've used the uh, small dental tool so you can see uh, we've cleaned the dog up quite a bit. There's still uh, quite a lot to do on it. We've got to uh, just part the front legs, we've just parted the back legs a wee bit. Got to do a little bit on the head and around the, um, on the ears. Um, and you can see that uh, it's come along. We've taken a wee bit of length off the base. Um, you can see sort of the general shape of it. Best thing to do if you're not sort of uh, too sure how to approach this is you have plenty of pictures of um, working border collies and uh, perhaps a bit of video and film and just get to know sort of what they look like, how they move and try and reproduce that in, in, in uh, what you carve. So uh, we're going to carry on with this and we'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> 